thanks for dropping by once again everyone so today we're gonna be playing around with some fun kind of trippy I know I said this quite a bit but like some trippy like think of water reflecting uh, off of a pool inside of a tunnel with some mission it's really simple you should have it done in no more than 10 minutes so stick tight hang in and let's get the show on the road Go ahead and delete uh, those default objects. Make sure we have ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead also and drop the color of our background to uh, complete zero, zero, zero. Now I'll go ahead over here to edit preferences. I want to make sure your animation default interpolation is set to linear not bezier if it's bezier the loop is not gonna look good it's not gonna be p it's not gonna be great at all so let's go ahead <clears throat> from here let's add in our favorite cylinder now what you're gonna do with the cylinder let's bring the vertices down to about eight cool beans once you have that set up let's rotate it 90 degrees on the x axis Cool. Press N to make your handy dandy little quick info kind of pop up. Now we're gonna increase the the Z. Let's increase the Z to eight meters. Cool. Drag this on down. Now gonna go ahead and duplicate, or so you could do uh, Control V. Drag it up here by the Z axis. Let's scale it on the Y. Let's make it very, 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 very tiny. Once you have that, let's go ahead and just bring it over here. Let's go back to our original. Edit mode, press tab. Switch to faces, select that face, and the other face. Press X, delete those. Cool. Now what you wanna do here is drag this on down here's a little bit of a tricky part you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit but you want to move it on the z-axis and just make sure that we're just sliding it on in we want to make sure it fits pretty well i don't make it any smaller yet you should make sure you're kind of being able to pretty much just like match up the vertices once you have it matched up you know you're in safe hands so then you're gonna press S and just scale it down just a tad bit. Cool, perfect. Okay. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and create a camera. So I like to do front, camera, spawn that, boom, there you go. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's leave it as that for right now. Let's play around with some of the materials and then we'll do the animation second to last. So like usual, we'll tilt the view camera. Cool. Oh, one last part of the modeling. Create a plane, shift A. Bring that plane, bring it, oops. Bring it around town. RX, 90 degrees. Make it pretty big. Uh, cool. Now we got stuff rolling. So if you want, you can name things. I'll call the plane light. Call the small cylinder, small cylinder, whatever you like. Uh, main stage. Up to you. <sighs> cool, my friend. Now let's play around some materials. So what I like to typically do is just split this once again, make the shader editor accessible, create a new material, I'm gonna call it pipe, create a new material on the plane as well, call this light. Now let's focus on the light for right now. Delete the principle of BSDF, shift A, create an emission. Drag that to the emission Connect it to the surface. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do 
pick color. Uh, I'm thinking it's a material preview just so you guys can kind of see. I'm thinking let's make it uh, like a warmer kind of like a reddish kind of thing. Let's up that up by like <clears throat> quite a bit actually. I'll do 80. It's fine for now. Save that light. Let's go into our pipe. <clears throat> let's up the metallic by a lot. Bring down the roughness by a lot. Now you can see pretty cool kind of effect going on here. You can see the geometry playing really nicely. Now <clears throat> here's where things will get a little bit more fun. Create uh, a mix. Oops. Mix RGB. Let's go ahead and connect the color to the normal. Oh, it's kind of fun, huh? It's kind of cool. Um, anyways, <laughs> create a bump node. Connect that to the bump node. Musgrave. Connect that to the height. Go ahead and bring this down a bit. And make sure that your base color also on the shape is darker. Let's also go ahead and connect our small cylinder and just use the same material as the pipe. And you can see we get this like very like woozy kind of um, trippy kind of thing going on here. So let's create 4D on the Musgrave texture. What you can kind of see is we're going to be able to animate it. But if you want, you could up the scale. I like to keep it around. Let's do. We don't want it to be too crazy. Around like seven. Detail is fine. And you can see as you turn it down, you can turn it down. Doesn't really play all that well. Let's leave it around there. Let's go ahead and create another bump note. Oops. And this is within our pipe. That magic texture. Connect the factor to the height. And you should start to see things will get a little bit, a little bit crazy. Now, from here, it's really up to you. I would recommend keeping the scale pretty low on the magic one. The magic gives it a nice little touch. You can see we get the, this like foil kind of thing going on here. Now we want to animate this kind of moving now. So go ahead and keyframe the W at zero. And move halfway to like 125 up the W don't the more you do increase the value the like think of the speed it's gonna have to reach from there to this speed at a certain range copy that keyframe bring it all the way to the end paste it you can see things are like kind of kind of moving oops do that you can kind of see we get this perfect loop going on here. I think that's fine for now. All right. So one thing you might want to do as well, which is in your camera, if you select it, you can go ahead and turn on depth of field to get this like neat kind of effect. And then within the viewport display, just turn that on so you can just see the render. All right, cool. So from here, I know we set up this light. You can bring it on down and things won't look as crazy. Bring it up, you get a really glowy light. Now, let's leave ours as that. It's giving us this very like gate to the demon dimension or something like that. Let's go ahead and parent 
the plane and this like mini cylinder we got going on here. So the way you do that is you're going to select the plane, then select the second cylinder. And lastly, select that camera by holding down control and press control P object. Okay, cool. Now what you're going to do with the camera is you're going to go ahead and select insert a keyframe into the Y location and you're going to bring all the way to 250 eight meters into another keyframe and now you're going to see it's going to move with it as you're moving forward right but you're like hey Mike you're like like what's going on like it's not looping anymore I'm going to solve that right now and then this main stage I'm going to press M let's just go ahead and call that the loop okay and what you're going to do is press shift a bring in the collection instance of the loop drag it on down and you want it to connect if you hold control you can get it to connect and then press oops press shift d once again oops dang delete that press shift d hold y on the control and if you keep pressing shift R you get duplicates so now as we're moving on through you can see we got we got a loop going on here we got some stuff just like, like things are moving like it's looking very like demonic now I'm going to show you a few tricks from here to kind of like spice things up. If this is good enough for you at this point, you can go ahead and drop the tutorial. Go ahead and uh, leave a like, leave a sub, whatever you do, you know, it's always appreciated. Simply just liking this video is not just liking this video, simply just watching the video is good enough for me. Um, so let's add some spice to this now, my friend. What you could do with the camera is if you want. You can start to rotate it. You can see like here and there, it's gonna kind of just like cut, I guess that one cylinder. So if you do 360 on the Y axis, you can see now things are like moving a tad bit different. Then if you also want to increase the speed or to make it look like it's going faster, you can increase the focal length. If you want it to look like it's slower, bring it in, bring it out. Right around 20. You can see now it looks like we're moving a lot faster going down this thing and it's just like do, 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 like a heartbeat. And then if we want to add a little bit more spice to it all, to finish it off here, my friend, let's go ahead and jump into our compositor. I think I've used this probably in about all the tutorials now. Uh, reroute, connect that, add a little bit, a little bit of jitter. Let's just render an image just so we can get the preview going. You can see we got something going on here. Okay, so oops, shift. you can see we got our very like, not too crazy, but we got something going on here with the colors. Things are, things are playing. We're looping it. You could be playing at your club. You can just toss this in and, and we got it rolling. So I'm going to show you how to just go ahead and render it. Come over on here to output and select exactly where you want this to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call mine YouTube uh, tutorial displacement visualizer MP4. Go ahead and FF MPEG video, MPEG4. I'll do perpetually lossless. Run over here on yonder, click render animation. And I believe we have something rolling. 
so thank you thank you thank you once again for dropping on by like i said many times before i'm a bit more of a smaller uh youtuber i don't want to act like i'm too good or like i'm this like mighty and great this high and mighty blender uh professional i'm learning as well and i think making these tutorials is fun for me so i'd love your feedback as well and how can i improve these tutorials for you um are there concepts that you're interested in and yeah, I think with that, there's a lot of gratitude I have uh, for you dropping by. So wishing you many blessings and hope to see you around. Thank you once again.